Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. Part three of the Finca del Origin series. I uh, had to take a little quick break, not that you noticed. I had to take a little quick break here because, uh, well, the lights went out. As you saw in the last episode, that light over there went out. Uh, just like, uh, the other two batteries and the lights were kind of uh, uh, running a little low. Um, I went from having AA batteries that every session I had to replace those 18 batteries at a time, getting expensive, to uh, getting a camera battery, so camcorder batteries, and um, so they're rechargeable, and uh, they've been fully charged, and then I put them in, and what do you know, it uh, one of the batteries ran up, but that had, had these things on for quite a while, so um, I actually just bought six more, so I have plenty uh, to mess with. All right, so... Uh, real quick, let me think of this real, so I know where I'm at. Boom, get that head. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, we'll, let's get right into the next wine. All right, this is the 2010 Finca El Origen Reserva Malbec. This is also from the Valle de Uco uh, in Mendoza, Argentina. Um, most likely it's a 100% Malbec. i to find out right now. Oh, it's not. All right. You can find this average price, uh, I believe, for $11. So, again, right around that $10 per bottle price range. We like $10 bottles of wine, especially really good ones. As these, the past two have been pretty decent. So, um, so let's, uh, let's talk about this real quick. Um, I didn't really talk about the Uco Valley, um, so I'll kind of read off what they say. Um, the, these are the La Esperanza vineyards at the foot of the Andes Mountains. Uh, 1,200 meters above sea level, so it's around 3,600 feet or so. Um, and it's a sub-appellation of one of the most promising wine regions within the province of Mendoza. Um, we don't really talk about, al haven't talked about altitude in a while because, well, haven't really been talking about South American wines. But uh, altitude is something that allows, um, uh, allows the cooling, you know, the, the heating of the cooling of the day. Uh, allows uh, for um, uh, the building of acids and the how the acids and the sugars work out. Uh, the higher you are, if I remember this correctly, the higher you are, the better acid, I believe, you can obtain from your grapes. Uh, it just really kind of depends on the climate, too. I mean, you know, you're not going to be growing grapes up in Colorado mountains necessarily at 10,000 feet, okay? <laughs> But, um, uh, you know, in the Rockies, but in the Andes, it's uh, how, how, the, how the climate is. Um, it, it's really good for winemaking. And um, you have like the, uh, what will happen is you'll have more sunlight a lot of times because in the valley you'll have all the fog going on, which depending on the type of wine you're making, that's what you want. Like, uh, like a lot of the Napa Valley and Sonoma County um, type of wines, uh, they'll have the valley wines, the floor wines, and, the, and with the, the fog, the types of grapes are growing there, they want the fog, but then the higher up they go on the mountains, they are on the hills, um, there's no fog, so it's much better for them. Anyway, so another reason to do that. All right, so um, let's get right into the Malbec. Oh, by the way, it is a 93% Malbec, this, this vintage, 7% Syrah. And age for six months in French oak. All right, so first off, I'm getting some uh, some red fruit. Um, I didn't read the, the, the notes, the, the winemaker notes, as far as tasting notes. Um, but I'm getting kind of cherries. And that's mostly what I'm getting as far as the fruit's concerned. Getting some spices out of it. And 
And that's really mostly what I'm getting out of the whole thing is some maybe a little bit of cherry, a um, little bit of spices, nothing overwhelming. Maybe a bit of like like uh, earthiness, minerality. Let's see how it tastes. All right, so fairly full body, the tannins, um, uh, high tannins, um, moderate to mo uh, medium high to high tannins, I mean, really coating the mouth. Um, I'm, I'm really t detecting the presence of wood quite a bit. I know it's the same amount of uh, the, the, the cab had six months of French oak, French aging in French oak. Um, this is the same, but I really am getting that, that wood type of uh, flavor like you know I'm, I'm out in the texas you know hill country I'm, I'm i'm chomping on cedar trees um live oak trees type of stuff so really getting that um maybe a hint of pepper again Getting some pepper spices, uh, peppers, and then you know, like spice pepper, um, and it's calmed down a little bit now. It's it's uh, aired out a little bit. You know that first initial glass, first initial sip, really hit you, really hit you pretty hard. But now it's it's calmed down a little bit, so it's, it's settled down. I like that, uh, softening up a little bit. Um, and this is a well balanced wine, well made. It's a definitely a food wine. This is something that um, when we had barbecue last night. This is should have been drinking this wine with the barbecue. Uh, sometimes spicy and spicy doesn't really work. It's too much. This would probably work, but um, you know, definitely, some, this will definitely stand up to a nice steak. You know, if you're having something that's well marbled like a ribeye, it's going to stand up to that. More of a food wine than a drinking wine. So, really like it. Um, again, 89 points for a uh, for a score. Uh, really well made, uh, you know, basically a $10 bottle of wine that um, uh, if you bought it, I think, I, I'll give it 90 actually, it was just, it was throw it into the 90 range. Um, really enjoy it, and uh, if you find it, I would definitely recommend getting it. Another reason why I moved it up to the 90 point range this is a wine that's going to open up. It's going to develop even, I think, more over time than, say, the, the Cabernet Sauvignon, which it will develop. I bet you if I drink a little bit right now, because it's been sitting in the bottle for a good hour, I guess. Mmm. Yeah, the cab, the peppers are just coming through dramatically on that. But um, let this sit out for a little bit. I forgot what I scored the cab, but it, it got even better. Let's put it that way. Uh-oh. Didn't like that smell there for a second. Getting some funk on it now, which I like funk normally. It was just like it kind of threw me off. All the flavors are really going, are, are complementing each other. And uh, like it started off with kind of soft, softer, not soft, softer, fruity, and then it started getting to the wood aspect. Now we're getting to the more the, the spices. Definitely. 90 points, 11 bucks or so. You can find it, buy it, and uh, that's it. Click the link below for, for the uh, website. Click above to friend me up. Hit the donate button. And uh, that's going to do it. We'll see everyone again next time.